Hello everyone, my name is Jerry. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but I've been setting up my new workshop, as you can see. And in honour of me having a bigger, better place to work, I'm going to build the biggest prop I've ever made. Let's get into it. Right, so, uh, the idea I had was to build a big huge sword. Now I've seen other YouTubers build different swords and big ones and anime swords that I don't know what they're from or anything like that. But I always liked the game Darksiders. Is it Darkstalkers? Darksiders, Darksiders. Darksiders I think it's called. Just to show you how much I know. But War is one of the, the four horsemen of the Hockpalypse. The four horsemen of the Apocalypse. Um, and he has a big huge sword with all intricate designs and skulls on it that's what I'm going to build. Now I didn't print out any pictures, I do have like, reference material and stuff like that but I didn't do a pattern. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build it off this, it's an old closet rod. Right, now I don't know if this is probably, I don't know, it's six foot, I'm six foot two, it might be a bit too long. I haven't measured the other one I found the dimensions of the other one because I think war is about 8 feet tall and it's sort of huge. So I might just make it out proportion to me. Now I have much more space to build here. The other table has like just this and I squished up with no way I would have been able to build this. Um, so I have a bit more space to, to work with. That's what I'm going to work off. It's going to be the middle bit, right? I also have these old kids play mats, right? So, what the plan is, is to use these for the inside and then I'm going to use kind of foam, foam clay or some shit like that for the outside, right? Um, I'm going to find out the dimensions of this because I don't think these will be thick enough. I might have to put something in the middle, but it'll go with the flow. And again, I'm just doing things the way it is. And these are also manky because they've been out in the garden for God knows how long. Uh, but again, it doesn't matter because they're going to be covered by foam clay. And the idea is to have a bit at the end of this for the handle. Say, yeah, I think that's about right. Where's my marker? And say, and then I have an idea for the pommel. So I'll say that. That's the handle. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to kind of draw the design of the blade on this. I definitely don't have enough. I do have some brand new foam from my, uh, my best mate Dave got me a lot of brand new foam for shop and you know Christmas and things like that like moving into the new house. I don't want to use that for this because I want to use up the old foam. I want to use that stuff for something good. Now I might use it for accents and smaller bits and that because that's what's there, like you know, it's there for that sort of stuff. Maybe a bit off more than me too from my first project back, but this is what I wanted to do. Way too thin for me. Way too thin. So what I might do is this is the inside edge. I mean it's not it's not terrible. Again, I don't have a camera that moves. It's not terrible. It's just, it seems too small. Like, the length is fine. That's, I'm all right with that because I've got the handle and everything right. But it's the, it's the thickness of the middle bit that I'm not overly happy about. Because that has to encompass the, the blade as well. Like, right? Hmm. I'll draw the blade in. And that's the blade. You can see it. And then this is the stuff in the middle. It looks too small. Do I go ahead with it and then hope that it'll be okay until we're trying to adjust it? That's, that's the problem. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the blade for this little bit. So I'm going to draw in on the inside the blade, right? Uh, and then see the, the blade itself. I'm, going, I'm not going to use this for the blade. I'm going to use. Will I use that and just put it, cut it down? Right, give me two minutes because I'm driving myself mad here. There we go. Yeah, zero. 
Right, this is what I was trying to do. Get my calipers out, measure the thickness of this. And that's 28.6 millimeters, right? So let's just say it's 28, let's just say 29 millimeters, maybe three centimeters. And the foam is 10, right? So technically we'd need three layers of this to fit it in the middle of this. Now, I, again, I know I keep saying I'm not worried about certain things, but when this is in the middle, I'm just gonna put like say, two part epoxy or something, or, or Gorilla Glue in the middle to keep it there. And then I'm gonna mold the foam play around it, and hopefully I can keep it in place. Uh, I might put some small, thin layer of foam, like a little strip or something down to keep it in, okay? And hopefully we can start out. Right, while I was on that phone call, I was thinking about stuff, right? So obviously, I have my ideas, right? So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna saw, because it can only really go up to here. That's no good, that one. And I can't really put, I was thinking I could put some sort of a, I was thinking I could put some sort of a spike up at the end of it. I really need to get rid of this, or used to this new camera system, but you look, when I'm a millionaire and have 5 million YouTube subscribers, I can get better camera systems, can't I? Um, <coughs> I've cut this bit off, I'm going to lay it in here, and then I have, to, I have to glue these bits onto the next bit of foam. But because it's 30 mil and I only have 20 mil of foam, I'm going to have to put something in the middle. Now I have something out in the car that I think will work definitely should work. You know, that's a bit better. Oh, I'm happy with that. Right, so I have the basic design sorted, right? I know it looks a bit mismashy, but again, it's gonna be sorted, it's gonna be covered. So what I need to do is, right, what do I need to do? I think I need to cut out all of this, right? The whole shebang. I'll leave that bit in, I won't cut that bit out just yet. And then I'm going to try and glue it down something else and then glue again the other phone and then I can cut the whole lot out. So obviously these bits in here need to be glued together. Mm. The glue been sitting in this in the uh, shed since I moved in, which is months ago. Which means it's probably gang. That's what we're looking at. And there's a good camera frame. Ah, yeah, it's hard to do. Handle won't come in. Right, so, let me see. I have this little bit of foam over here. Right, so, it's this stuff. That and more, it's insulating foam. But I need to make, so you don't need to glue it in the middle, effect that. I just kind of need to glue it down on here. I'm gonna see if this stuff gets melted by the last foam, inside foam I used, it did get melted, it did melt. Oh yeah, oh, it's not, that's not in good nick. We have, we have this stuff, spray stuff. Let's try that. If that doesn't melt it, then we're gonna stick it down. I mean, it doesn't only matter if it melts it, because it's going to be on the inside. That melts it a bit, but it's not too bad. And, you know, my friend, I'm going to get into the habit of putting stuff back where it's supposed to go. And then these, that will go there. And then I'll cut more bits up for the outside. It's all about using what you have. No, why not? Because I'm, I'm trying to use up stuff and stuff we found and all. Why not use that? So, I'm just going to stick in there. I have to get a few small bits for here. And then. Yeah. 
thing about this stuff, it sticks really quickly if you don't really have to wait too long for it to dry. So since it's not sticking great, I'm going to have to put spots of hot glue somewhere. I mean, if it seems to be sticking there, maybe if I just got a yoke rid of it, I guess. Good. If I just let them sit on the table. I'm going to roll it out, try and get this to stick on. If I had a good bandsaw, I think this will be about a million times easier. <laughs> Instead of using glue for that one, just bash it in. <laughs> It's actually coming along better than I thought it would. I'm only in here for two hours. Oh, that's kind of like that bit. And, and I think what I'll do is I'm going to call a day after I get this bit glued on and that bit glued on. And then I'm going to put like a plank of wood on top of it and some weight and just leave it and let it dry properly. I think that's the best option for me to now. Right, let's get back into it. Um, off camera. I decided to, you can see it up here in the top camera, uh, shave off all these edges. Now I'm not worried, they're, they're not in the greatest of shape, but I mean I'm not worried about it because, um, oh god damn it, that's the fourth one broken. Uh, I'm not worried about it because, again I'm going to skin everything over, okay? Uh, you just get a real sharp knife and I'm just peeling bits off of it. I'm sharpening my knife as we go. I started off with a uh, new blade and I'm just going to keep going till I'm lying here and I'm going to do it the other side too and just get off as much as I can. These bits here I don't like, I'm going to try and glue them back together but again it's not going to be overly, it's not going to over matter like Jesus Christ I can't speak English at all. Yeah, that's not too bad. Flip around the other side I'll know then. And I let me glue them cool down a little bit so it won't melt the styrofoam. Like it's coming along and I know it doesn't look absolutely great at the moment but I'm happy with it. You know things things take time. Good things take time. They really do. And I've been at this in my spare time for about two weeks now. I don't have much spare time. Right. I also have a, already have a bin of scraps, but it's neither here nor there. I'm happy with that. Right, so. So next plan then is to get the handle in. This is going to go to there. Right. But I noticed that my measurements were but I noticed that my measurements were a little bit off. Which I have a plan to rectify that, right? So what I plan to do is I have scrap five mil here, right? And I'm just gonna skin like a little skinny bit all the way up to the top and then I'm gonna glue another bit in the middle of it to keep it down because it's roughly 10-ish mil off and again it doesn't probably about 8 mil off but again I don't need it to be perfect because I'm going to skin it with the, the foam like the foam clay so yeah, you stay there so, oh I eat. <coughs> have a look for my big ruler Just going in now. goes 
I'll put a lot of glue around the edges and the, the foam can stretch and bleed and everything else. So. There's a little gap kind of in here where I'm trying to squeeze hot glue. And in situations like this, the uh, Gorilla Glue would be absolutely brilliant. Because you'll put it in that gap and then a little bit of water activates it and it'll just foam up and fill it up. So I could have put a little bit in there, covered the top of it with the strips, and then when I cover the top of it with the strips, it'll foam up and hit the, the foam and stop it from coming out. Then it'll just fill up all those gaps and it would have been perfect for a course. My glue and glue fine jack. And I'll have to buy some more. That's the most hot glue I've ever used on a project, ever. Like that's about 10 sticks all the way down in there. My brand new empty bin that I have down there in the corner there. It's already full of shit. I think this is going to work. I really do. If I get this part done, cover up the stick, and then get the blade done today, then at least another day I can start concentrating on forming the um, the skulls and, and the gold, the ghouls and ghosts and things on it. Right. Ultimate test so far. Everything's glued in. It's Look, I mean, look, that's the camera, right? I can touch the camera with it. There, let me step out of frame. <laughs> it's really huge. Uh, did I buy it off more than I chew? I can chew? I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to use the new phone for this. Exciting times. It is 42. And so it's supposed to be. Oh, what am I trying to say? I'm getting too excited now. It's supposed to be 42 or something like that long. But I'm trying to overlap it a bit. Now, this is just scrap form, so it's a tester, so I'm not really. It right now. Like that. So the plan is, you can see that on the top camera, just about, you know, I have an angle edge here, right? The plan is to lay like a strip of foam here, stretch it around, that's a little bit too small. I'm a contact cement, I don't really need to cover it, it will stick. And then on the other side here, where this edge is, I'm going to put another edge on the other side and pinch them together. And that should give me the sharp blade. Fingers crossed. So, I'm going to have to dish out the new foam. This is the smallest bit of the blade. And that's my smallest bit of foam. Oh, I should be wearing a mask again, but I just keep getting into the old habits of not wearing. Oh, that's what's supplied to me. To the channel by the good mate Dave. So, Dave, nice one. That's a mini, three mil, two mil. Where is it? Where did you get me, Dave? That's three. On the fives on the knee, so there's three and five. And the fives on the knee, and I need this five. Let's put the five in the middle. Uh, right, oh, well, let's try Add the fire and the wrong tree. And then I'm going to cut long 45mm strips out of this. Put an angle in them. I don't know if you can see that there. Actually, I'm not working out too bad actually. You can see it on the camera. Upper oh, camera, yeah. Let's see. There. So I'm going to put another bit on this side and then pinch it together in here. So hopefully I'll get a nice smooth sharp looking blade. Right so I finished all the blade parts, the outside blade parts. So let me just show you, put it at the camera like that. Right. 
this is going to be really heavy, top heavy. Right? But if you look at this, if you look at the top camera, you can see I drilled a couple of holes in here, there for cheekbones on the skull. Um, <coughs> same here, I put some more holes here and grinded some stuff down. Just doing a little bit of work, finishing this up, right? In hindsight, doing the blades, I would have. I should have done two things, right? One, I definitely should have made a pattern for them, right? Because when I just cut out the straight strips, some of them buckled. Now, I, I knew it was going to happen, the buckling, but I didn't think it was going to be that bad. But it was. Uh, so I should have made a pattern for it, just for making it. Now, it turned out okay in the end. I mean, I managed to get it working, but it would have been way easier if I had just made a pattern for the curves. Right? That's basically... Uh, the first part that I would have changed for it, right? Um, there was something else, but I can't remember what it is. Deadly. It's not a hot clue, is it? Um, what was the other part that I can't remember? Mark. Now, let's go on to the next bit, right? I have bone clay. A big tub of it. There it is there. I have four new tubs of it, right? This is the stuff you just put on a bit of water, and that's what I'm going to do. You put a bit of water on, and I'm going to uh, craft the skulls and the stuff onto this, right? That being said, I don't know if I have enough of it. Uh, I'll have to just go with the flow and see what I have. I might put some foam down over for fillers, or instead of making it really defined, just make it a little bit shallower. I can't really think of anything else much to do. And, and if I run out, I might buy it uh, in a few more days. I have another older one sitting around somewhere, but of course, as usual, I can't really find it. I don't like that light. It's annoying me on the camera. Mm, not as bad as it was, but I need to get proper light in here anyway. Right, so, for the top camera, I'm gonna start trying to carve this in. I have a picture off to the side. So it's like skulls and heads and what not in it. I'm also going to have to put like lines in the blade but so look we'll get to that the next time. I'm not, no way in hell am I going to film all of this. Um, it's going to take me forever. So I'm just going to film a bit of it, maybe the start, the middle and the end and the rest is just going to be done off camera either in here or maybe I'll do it in the kitchen or something, I don't know. Right so let's get into it. And this phone play stuff is handy. You can uh, just mush it up, spray a bit of water down, get water. if you're using tools to mush it in, get water in your tools, get water in your hands, and just kind of work it into all the stuff. I have um, drawn, uh, drawn on the skull part, like, and I'll just see where I go, right? I also have good old cat toys here, that I could technically, well, I might do that for the, for the cheeks, just glue them down. Onto like certain parts, to try and make it so I'm not using as, as much foam. So I think right now that's exactly what I'm going to do. This stuff, this foam clay stuff is great because it's non toxic and you can craft loads of stuff out of it. And when it dries, you can glue other stuff to it and you can sand it. And basically, just pull off a bit of it, knead it in your fingers, show you there, knead it up in your fingers. And then where the wet parts are, just push it in. And it will stick because I think the idea of it is the water helps the uh, the water helps the clay kind of evaporate and uh, shrink and it sticks to the other foam like so it's epic stuff. The only downfall of this stuff is Oh, it takes 24 hours to dry, maybe. It's a, it's a devil for waiting for stuff to dry, it really is. But it's worth it in the long run. And you can notice it sometimes getting a bit too sticky. So when it gets too sticky, you start getting your water back out there. What I'm gonna do is try and just get the bulk of this stuff done. And then if I need to buy more of the foam clay, then I'll do it. 
really wish I knew where the other stuff was because it's slightly gone off that other stuff and slightly gone off stuff is but it's easier to mold if you know what I mean. Right. That is one whole tub of that stuff. Done. And three more tubs. I'd say I have about maybe I have a quarter of it done. So maybe I'll get enough I'll have enough to do the whole lot. I might have to if I can't find that other one. I might have to buy another one just for top ups and things like that, like, but you can see on the camera. Let's see. See? So, I am not going to do the rest of that on camera. That took a good solid hour to do, and I don't even think it's very good. Well, it's not terrible, but what I'll do is I'll tidy it up and I'll do more and I'll cover the rest of it off camera. I can concentrate more without trying to talk to the camera. When it's done, I'll come back, I'll show it to you, then we'll paint it, and we'll see where we go from there. So, happy days! Right, finally getting back at this, I have finished both sides of it. Foam clay. Jeez, it fits perfectly almost on the blade does anyway in the camera. There is the other side of it, right? All foam clay is finished. I gave it a good 24 hours or so to dry. Uh, now, I'm going to start putting the teeth onto it. There's a few teeth fang, majiggery things around here. I'm going to have them done, formed and made. It's a video of that on my TikTok if you want to watch it. There's, uh, so I'm just going to put them in with two picks and glue them on. And then I think basically all I need to do after that is... We'll have to make sure I know what I'm doing. I'm going to make mistakes. But I'm 90% sure that I'm done with it. And all I have to do is do the handle. There's a little wrap around the handle down here that needs to be sorted, right? It's uh, like a little kind of a wrap around, like a, like a triangle, I think, up near the hilt. Then I'm going to wrap the handle with 2mm foam, and then I have a thing for the base. Where is it? That's not quite right. It's uh, some random yoke I found online. I really wanted to get uh, a curtain hook, but you know what? It'll work for now. I might try and Instead of sawing that off, I might try and use a drill bit to drill into the wooden dowel and then just stick that in there, glue it in. Maybe even I chop a bit off and drill a bit in, we'll sort something out. So now I'm going to glue in the fangs. Let me see if I can, <coughs> you can see that on the top corner. Yeah, you can. I have a heater on because it's cold out here. <coughs> I realise you might not be able to hear properly. So, these are the fangs. Spent about an hour last night, four days, probably a bit more than an hour. They're mostly solid and done. I need another set of lights out in here. This is getting ridiculous. Yeah, that's a bit better. Now, so what I plan to do is kind of stick them in here. But I realise that some the uh, uh, toothpicks might be a bit too long. So <coughs> there are little clippers here somewhere. There we go. I'm just going to clip them off. Dab a bit of super glue on, shove them in, but I don't want them sticking up. So if I put them sticking up like that, going, when it lays down, it's going to go. So, and besides, on the, on the actual prop, they look kind of like angled, go upwards. So that's what I'm going to try and do anyway. I have two pick here myself, right? So I'm just going to try and poke hole here. Just to see if I can give them a bit of a bit of a head start. The teeth aren't fully formed yet. So they're still a bit squishy. Whereas the this foam has had a good three or four days to dry, whereas this one's only overnight, but still not fully dry on the inside. But because the foam was not hundred percent set right, I can kind of push the end of it down and hopeful hopeful mm, blah, 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 blah. I can hopefully I can push the bottom of the foam down and hopefully it'll stick to the other foam and glue a kind of a ridge around the end of it. We'll see how it works out. Anyway, I just not really in the mood of gluing my fingers down to things. These don't have to be any at any particular angle or any of that shit. It just needs to be to your liking. And so far it is to my liking. One two pick. I put two two picks at each at the end of each one. But it probably would have been better to just have one two pick. Yeah. We don't need that anymore. 
Now, I think what's next is, I'll tidy up a wee bit. I'm going to try, so I'll sit this up with a super glue set for a bit. And I'm going to try and make the handle bit, which not try and make, should be easy enough. The old uh, cutting mat, I've seen better days. The two of them, both of them are wrecked. Well, there's this little tiny one up here as well. And this is the premise of it. it wraps around like that. But I need to get rid of this texture. I've got no 10 mil phone, so I'm going to put way off the camera so the blade or the teeth are not hanging off. It's just too. Small bit. I think it will work fine. The super glue. Now, a shit ton of. Maybe a shit ton of two millimeter foam. Take to Uncle Dave. Well, that's actually three mil. Does it work? Because I don't have two mil. I do it. Doesn't this doesn't need to be cut perfectly because they're kind of uneven, jagged lines of it. Well. To make it look more organic and, and kind of funky. So I'm going to try for as thin as I can possibly get it. Sticking to everything. Right, I think this is dry enough to start. In hindsight, this foam is probably not the greatest for this. This is going to be awkward AF, but I'm going to go with the flow. You can always stretch this form a bit as well. And keep pulling it, stretching it, and it'll stick down on itself. I'm leaving gaps and overlaps on it on purpose to make it kind of look like it's some sort of a fabric wrap on the outside. It is method to my madness. So that little extra bit there is so when I, I want to put on that. drill in the hole, I can wrap the last bit around my little majigger, wherever it is, this majigger. This is going to go in here and then this is going to wrap around it. Oh, couldn't get any more paper. Right, so, there's me. I'm going to use two pair of epoxy for that. Oh, or maybe I'll knock because I just can't remember where it is. I should be wearing gloves, but I'm hoping it'll be far enough away from your hands that I have to actually touch it. It's supposed to take five minutes. Paint, paint on that, Jesus. Sorry, Odin. This is my, uh, my new workshop top. Look, paint and glue on it, it doesn't matter, it's not really wrecked. I know I pay for the thing, but I don't think anyone's going to mind. I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to put a coat of the wood glue on this blade here while I'm at it. Right, that's coated. And the blade, not this, not the inside bit, just the blade. And when that's dry, I can fix the handle and plaster it a bit. Right, so she's finished painted. I plastered it there on both sides, ran out of plastered it for the handle, so I had to paint the handle with flexi paint stuff. It's a bit sticky now, which I'm not overly happy with, but sure look, we'll work with it. Um, and then I spray painted it with just a matte silver, because I have it. And now I'm going to weather it, paint the handle, and call it done. I've been at this for too long, it needs to be bloody done. We have this stuff, it's just shoe polish, and I also have uh, watered down black paint. So, Put a bit of black, water down black in one, and the water down brown in the other. Just go down on it. 
when you get the paint out of this one. Don't leave it on too long. You kind of want to just paint it, give it a few seconds, and then go over it with the, uh, the kitchen roll. Great. And then kitchen roll. You can use a damp kitchen roll. I find just because it's already wet, the paint. I find just using a normal dry one is fine. You don't really want to just wipe it all off. You want to kind of just like get a kind of a bit of kitchen roll, right? And instead of folding it perfectly, just bunch it up, right? And then the rough edges of the bunched up kitchen roll will grab kind of the high edges of it and leave the low parts there, which means you'll still kind of see the silver. You won't take all of the the uh, weathering the black off, which leaves this kind of cool, kind of weathered look. And you can blotch and do this, tap it down, that's a good idea too. This is going to give it a good contrast by just putting like the dark tones of brown and black in it. Now, I'm not going to put the brown everywhere, just kind of on certain highlighted areas. Right, I'm finished. Let's see if I can put it into camera for you. There you go. Uh, I finished the painting and I just put like kind of lots of browns and blacks and kind of in here just to make the shades on the, the ghouls and all that sort of stuff pop. I probably could have done a bit more but I'm happy with it and I uh, clear coated it as well. Uh, <coughs> let me show you the height of it. Right, so if I'm 6'2", that's it hitting the ground there. So it's a little bit taller than me. Really, really happy with it. There's a few things maybe that I could have done better. The strip of stuff that I made down the middle shouldn't have been five mil. It probably should have been like three mil or even two mil or something really flat because it has this weird kind of pronounced bump that almost looks like another sword. But I'm over it. It's okay. Uh, and it's really, really heavy. Like it's super heavy. Like if you hold it like that, not too bad. Not that heavy. But hold it from here. The counterbalance on it is nuts really heavy you wouldn't hold that in your hand for too long but I am super chuffed with it I'm gonna to have to try and find a good spot for it now in the back here god knows where I'm gonna put it but I'll figure something out now I am back hopefully doing my videos I might try and get them out every two weeks now a bit more time on my hands the workshop set up but don't quote me on that if I don't get them out every two weeks I'm sorry but I'll try my best um, and hopefully I get some more subs, some more subscribers, and I can make more stuff for everybody out there, and I hope people really enjoy my videos as much as I like making the stuff. So, if you like it, give me a like, give me a subscribe. If there's anything you think I can build, or I should build, slap in the comments below, and I'll get back to you. Good luck. They're already broke Gandalf, knocking them over. That's going into the bloopers. <coughs> oh, Gandalf. There it goes. Oh, no, not in it goes. That didn't come out. It fell right out. I wonder if I got that on camera.